The Indiana Jones Adventure Ride at Disneyland California is by far one of the best park ride designs in the world with the most entertaining queue lines that I recreated and I'm going to show you both right now. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Tommy and welcome back to Extreme Coasters and if this is your first time here, it's nice to meet you. In this video, we're going back in time a few years to a ride creation that I made and obviously by what I just mentioned, it's going to be the Indiana Jones Adventure Ride at Disneyland. Now there's a few reasons why I'm making this video today. The first reason why is I wasn't very happy with the way it came out the first time. So I jumped back into the game Planet Coaster and updated a lot of things that I wanted to do. So as we're walking around the queue line entrance, I'm going to show you some video snippets of actual footage taken so you can see the comparisons from the real life to what I created, especially to those that have never been to Disneyland. Also stay to the end as I will show you a speed deconstruction video of the whole ride just to give you a quick glance on how I built everything. It's a lot of fun to watch, so definitely stay till the end. Also, I'm not going to do any commentary on the POV. I'm just going to play the soundtrack and let you enjoy the ride experience. But after the ride ends and we start on the execute, I'll jump back and share some more fun stories and show you some really cool things that I did. So I live in Southern California and I've been to Disneyland a ton of times. And I remember when this ride opened, I think back in 1995, the line was like five hours long. We stood in line for the longest time. But back then they gave you these cards that you would take like a business card size. Here's a picture of it right here. And what you would do is you would walk around the queues and throughout the whole queue, there was like lettering on the walls or like on a suitcase outside or on some kind of lantern or whatever. And you would have to decipher all these codes and messages. And it was so much fun that for a two hour wait, three hour wait in line, it felt like maybe half that because you were always doing something active. You were always like looking at the walls, looking over here for clues and everything. You know, we had a great time doing that. So I think we're about halfway now in the queue. <laughs> and I think a lot of people are probably thinking that's never been to Disneyland or never seen this ride before. This is a very long queue. It is. But like I said, again, with the amount of detail, it's really crazy. By the way, there's a part right here that if you pull the string, you get a little sound effect of an old guy in a well. This part's really great. Most people don't know about this, but this is in real life. And here's a video of it. But I'm going to stop talking. But listen to what he says. It's great. Poor guy, he's been trapped in that well forever. Now here comes the movie room. Now here's an old movie that they made just for the ride. It's called Eye on the Globe. Let's listen to a tiny bit of this. This is actually from the real ride. Now here's an Easter egg that not a lot of people know about. There's a little E or sign that's right there hidden. Now back in the days before this ride was made, this ride was built in the E or section parking lot of Disneyland. And when they constructed this ride, they had to take out sections of the parking lot. And when they did, this part right here is where Euro was, and that's why you see that little hidden blue donkey uh, from Winnie the Pooh. Another really fun Easter egg is right here that I'm trying to zoom in, but we can't see it because the lighting. It says Delivered to Club Obi-Wan, which of course was a reference to Obi-Wan Kenobi from Star Wars, but was also in the opening scene, Club Obi-Wan in the Temple of Doom. And making our way up to the ramp in just a few seconds, you're going to see some custom Jeeps that I made that I thought looked kind of close to the real thing. We only get basic shapes in this game, so there's only so many ways you can make a Jeep look good. but. That was my little take. You'll see them later in the next minute or so because we are almost at the end of the queue, <laughs> believe it or not. To the right is where you exit the queue if your car ends up on the right side of the track. We're going to be ending up on the left side of the track, so we'll be taking uh, a different kind of queue line after the ride. And there's a sign that I used. and looks like it's stuck in the wall. And coming down, we're coming down to the um, ride entrance. This is the part where you actually get on the ride. <laughs> so congratulations, you made it to the end with me. The loading area came out really good. I was really happy with it. There's a lot of detail that I didn't get, but overall, I was very pleased with it. We're just about to board the ride. Don't forget, I'm not going to do any commentary on this. I want you to experience the POV and its full entirety. So enjoy, buckle up, and welcome to the Indiana Jones Adventure Ride. Here we go. Hello, hello, oh my friend, uh, the brakes may be needing a little adjustment. 
adjustment, but easy on the curves. <laughs> you seek the future. I will lift the curtain of time. It is your destiny. There you go. Hope you enjoyed your ride. What did you guys think? Now, how many of you remember my video back in 2018? If you do or if you don't or if you never saw my video, I'm going to put a link in the description below. Take a look at the video and I want you guys to watch and then tell me, come back and tell me in the comments area, what did you see differently that I did? There's probably some major changes that you probably would notice and some slight changes that you don't notice. But in any case, I would love to hear comments from you guys. And like I said, the older video that I did back in 2018, I'll leave a link in the description. So for those that you don't know, the queue line that they built going both ways kind of runs side by side. If you notice on the left, that was the way we were going on the entrance. This part right here goes under the train section of Disneyland. The train is actually above us right now. They had to go underground a little bit so the train could go above us. Also for accuracy on building this queue line and the ride, I actually went on Google Maps. And that gave me distance and proportions to know how long to make the queue line, how to make the ride. And I also went online to find some blueprints of the ride like this one right here that you're watching. And that really helped me out with the skill model of everything. So now we're coming outside to the end of the queue, and that, that seemed a lot shorter than the entrance, right, for some reason. Both a half mile long, but for some reason, the end of the queue is a lot shorter. 
Now what I like about the end of the queue, it runs parallel with the world famous Jungle Cruise ride. You can't see it, but it's actually on the right hand side. And as you exit the queue, you keep on walking. And up these stairs, you can actually get a little overall view of the Jungle Ride. And there's two hippos right there. And you can actually see the boats go by. And I'm not going to say anything. Listen to what they say. You can barely hear what they say. <laughs> That's kind of funny. And we're going to run downstairs real quick and try to catch up with it on the left. And then we're going to hear what they say even some more. And these are actual views and actual sounds that you would hear from the end of the queue line. You hear the jungle cruise go by. And it's really awesome. It's a lot of fun. So we're going to look to the left right now. This is pretty close to the same kind of view you see. Anyways, we're getting towards the end of the video, and like I mentioned in the beginning, there's something special that I made just for you. It's a self-deconstruct speed build out of this whole entire area that I built, the queue lines and also the ride. It shows me deleting sections one by one and piece by piece just to show you how I built everything. It took me 13 minutes to do, but I narrowed it down to two and a half minutes just for you. So before we jump into that, I just want to say thank you very much for watching this video. I'm glad you made it all the way to the end with me. And if you would like to see me do more commentary videos like this, just let me know in the comment section below. Until then, have a great day. Enjoy the bonus video coming up, and I'll talk to you soon.